Hey guys, I don't know if y'all have heard this or not, but we have started a brand new series called the Primo's Truth Web Series. It's available along our website. If y'all haven't seen it yet, go check it out. We've got turkey hunts on there from last spring, and we're fitting to start putting new episodes on there for this fall. So y'all go check it out at primos.com. This is our brand new addition, our Camp Chef Pellet Grill. You might ought to get Troy out here to help you. Troy! 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 That's gonna work. Where you been? Oh, come back out of here. Come on. All right, move all loose parts from inside the grill and hopper. Lay a blanket or a piece of cardboard down to protect the grill. Got it. All right, install handle is the next step. You got a Phillips head? No, I don't have it. Do I look like I got a Phillips head on? Thank well, look, somebody's got to do the hard part, OK? I'm going to I'm gonna personally install. This is the key to the whole grill right here. We're getting there, guys. What's this for? We're done. OK, wait a minute. No, no, no. We got three more pages. Jimmy, did you have to get out here to help them figure this out? It would have been, been a disaster. Brad, as you know, you can see where he's sitting and what's in his hand. He done absolutely nothing but holler and point. Well, I can't hunt this afternoon. Why? Because well, he's been a smart no. mouth. He's been a smart mouth all die. day. So how many? That's you? okay. I'm going with you. Oh. So comment you made about the ash bucket sent him across the. Well, he looked like little old Pete with his little bucket going like to the store <laughs> to get some goat milk or something. Hello, I'm Wilbur Primos. All his hunts are exactly as they happen. There's no fancy edits, there's no stage scenes. The calling you're gonna hear is excited calling, but all these hunts are as they actually happen, and that's why we call it the truth about hunting. When the truth began in 1987, we had no idea where this journey would take us. 30 years later, we're still having fun. Welcome to Primo's Truth About Hunting. Primo's Truth About Hunting is brought to you by Bushnell, Savage, Federal, Matthews Archery, Camelback, Mossy Oak, Polaris, and Primo's Hunting, Speak the Language. You ever decide where you're gonna go? Yeah, we're going to the old man woods. You know? I know where he's like, going. He why got you on laughing at what he said. Laughing at what who said? You had that grin on your face when he said something. You had you were thinking. I didn't think anything. Kind of goofy. <laughs> where, where are you going? You know that spot you hunted yesterday and the day before? Saw them yeah, bucks. Up on Millican. That's where I'm going. Oh, you, you, you're going to go right behind me and yeah. uh, old George. I, well, I asked George, I said, are y'all going to go back in there? He well, said, no. Well, said, no, no, that's, I'd go back in there myself. It's a great stand, but uh, I just want to look at some different territory. I understand that. If he goes in your spot and shoots one, we're going to have to listen to that mess. Yeah, well. It's going to be that little. But I wouldn't do that. Oh, my God, <laughs> you wouldn't do that. <laughs> Troy, and I, Troy and I are going up to Arkansas for the afternoon. I figured okay. you were when I seen that orange hat. Yep, we got a long little walk ahead of us. We got some water to cross. Typical early season setup. We're trying to get as close to them as we can with that bed. And, uh, because they're just not, you know, they just don't get on the wall much. So, got a great little takeout plot here. Got scrapes all around it already. And we got a camera on the other side over there facing this way, proof cam. But there was probably 15 or 20 deer in and out of here yesterday afternoon. It could have been some of the same ones to watch, but it was a, it was a busy plot. A little small plot, and all the trails go right like that, going straight north of us. And we are supposed to be northeast, but actually it's east, southeast, which is even better. It's early October here at Cottonmouth. Both the temperature and humidity are steady 
at about 79, which means three things are certain. Deer movement will be slow, late, and minimal. And Brad is on what he calls a first-come, first-served basis of bow hunting. In other words, he's not gonna wait on a big one. I'm finna pop that big old doe teeth. Watch this little one right here, 15 yards. Yeah, I see. We good. Come on, old girl. Just turn a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna stay on that big one. I, I like to uh, take this time to have fun and shoot those so we get all serious chasing this buck. And don't get me wrong, I'd love to shoot a big buck too, but I ain't passing no big old doe like that. Holy moly. This is the biggest doe I have no doubt ever shot. Look at the side, it looks like a buck. Let me make sure it ain't a, <laughs> ain't a buck. Oh, big old dry doe, just like we thought. Goodness gracious, it's hot. I bet you she's 160 pounds, 170 pounds, maybe even 180 pounds. But I promise you she's eight years old, if not older. I'm gonna head back and get the ranger. We'll load her up and head to the skinny shed, what do you think? Being we're in three states here, we have to be very conscious about tagging and keeping everything in order. But we're good to go and we'll call her in when we get back tonight. Tanya's the biggest doe I've ever seen in my life. I, we had to look and be sure it was a doe. We knew it was, there was four of them and we thought she was the, the dry one. I mean, look at the head on her. I, I said 160, 170. We'll see. We'll weigh her and see. Let's see what she weighs. I'd say I'd unload her for you, but I'm going to need some help. <laughs> 155. Final wager, Jimmy. No. Oh. <laughs> 186. Man, you know how long them back straps are going to be? Doing that, that bone in back strap? Yeah. You're going to have a lot to work with. This segment of The Truth is brought to you by Height Spot Quivers, Black Gold, and Ripcord. Sing it, sing it, sing it, sing it. <laughs> well, I know after, after y'all pulled the cameras for the last few days, we got some serious deer movement going on at Cottonmouth right now. Just coming off that full moon, mm -hmm. late October. Yeah. Well, you sent me a picture of that dude y'all had an encounter with yesterday, and we ain't got no pictures of him, do we? We had pictures of him earlier, but oh. I mean, like him and all the other dudes. I didn't recognize him as wife. Well, you would if you, you couldn't tell in that picture I'd sent you on the cell phone. He's the one he's got crazy, like these kicker points come off his bases. Well, the difference in pictures last week versus this week, all the mature deer decided to yeah. start feeding. Anyhow, I think we're going to uh, Bucks and Ducks. You know, we've got two food plots relatively close in that area right there, and one camera's showing not much deer activity, the other camera's showing, seems like every all the deer in that area are hitting that food plot. All right, I got faith in you. Uh, we're gonna get, get in and ease on, wanna get in that tree, get quiet, get settled. We just got through saying it was magic time, and uh, like clockwork, I just started filing out here, deer, 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 deer. First it was a bunch of does. Then we had, there's a, a second shooter, eight point, that we've seen on camera, but did not see yesterday. He came walking out. And then that same shooter we saw yesterday that, what you name him? Devil Lance Hatfield. Devil Lance. Well, Devil Lance is down there too. If we're gonna make anything happen tonight, they gonna have to start to step in this way pretty quick, because we don't have just a whole ton of camera light left. Three directions, and like Troy and I said, we'd have to have about six ozonics. 
spread all the way around the treater to get what, effective coverage. What, what wheel we had? Uh oh. Where I that? Know, where that? About the same story as last night. We saw them again. Saw everything we saw last night minus the coyote and the bobcat. You need to move that stain. That's the plan tomorrow. Me and Jordan been game planning. We're putting you and Jordan's brain together, and that ought to equal at least one. Yeah, I know. That's what we. I was like, Jordan, we've been half braining this, you and I. <laughs> <laughs>
He's not spooked. He just, I think he can tell something's different. That's a big deer. Where? That's a big deer, straight in the back, a big buck. Where? That's Devil Lance, right there, to the south end of the plot. I see him. I He's see about him. to cross in front of that tree. Yeah. No, that's him for sure. Okay. Here comes me. He's running. Toasted, dude. He's toast. He's toast. Toasted. <laughs> Jordan. Jordan. Mm -hmm. Did that not work? Give me five. <laughs> right through the logs. That was double logs, wasn't it? I cannot believe it just happened. Let's go look at him while it's still light. Let's go look at him while it's still light. I can leave my hands everywhere now. <laughs> Shot him. And he ran right along the edge here, so thinking he's gonna be dead right in there where he ran back in the woods, but we'll walk around here, see if we can't find some blood. Not Honestly, he's not bleeding exceptionally well. Primo's Takeout Seed Blends as seen on The Truth. Visit Primo's.com. This segment of The Truth is brought to you by Ozonics and Ceasefire. You don't have to blind in the right spot. They're right on top of you, aren't they? See, what he's doing right there. All those other small bucks did that too. He didn't see us. He just, I think he just could tell something was different, you know, because I mean, that thing was brushed. And how far is he right there? 25. Okay. I guess the only thing I can think is when he, like when he's walking right there, he's dead broadside. And that's when I drew back. And then he took that step and I thought he was, I knew he was quartering a smidge, but I guess he was quartering a little bit more than I thought because he was right there when I shot him. See? Well, you get to focus in them, and you were drawn back, and you get to focus it on your aim and your. Yeah. So, because you can see that X. Because y'all already looked, y'all already went 60 yards yeah. past the plot see, looking right, at me, wasn't it? Right there, right. I mean, yeah. maybe just yeah. in, right inside that last reel, that's the exit. So, tonight was one of the best bow hunting evenings we had in one sense, and then in the other sense, I shot one and shot way right. See, it's just, it's, it's at the last rib, further than the last rib. Mm, Boom. Yeah. 
You know, you and Will, you, Will, and Cus Strickland named this show 30 years ago the truth, and this is we 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 seeing the hard truth right now. Yeah. It is what it is. We, yeah. we ain't lying yeah. about it. Might not so, be the easiest night to sleep, but it'll be worth it tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. We'll find it. Yeah. Oh well. The next morning, we all woke to a bow hunter's nightmare. Rolling thunder and torrential downpours. Without cameras and with two blood trailing dogs, Lake and Jordan head back in the rain to where they last found blood. And they found old Devil Lance piled up about 130 yards just inside the woods. Good job, Lake. Y'all, you and Jordan figured him out too. I'm telling you. I, you know, looking at it now, it's definitely liver. When I first drew back, he was walking broadside, and I thought he was still broadside. I didn't realize he was quartering as much. Well, I mean, I shot mine further back than you shot yours. I just shot right, and, and we're supposed to go look for him now. And yeah. hopefully, I mean, we snuck down there, didn't even look. We just backed out. And, right. You know, that's part of bow hunting, and you got to be smart sometimes. And it ain't what we want to do, but it's what you better do. Yeah. Where my deer ran, if we would have jumped him up, he would still have been alive and ran in that water, we would never find him. Right. Well, let's go see if we can find the other one. Well, we got Joe, which is Jeffrey's lab. Y'all know Jeffrey, he helps us stuff here on Cottonmouth. And then we got Delta, which is Jordan's dog. So, and we had that storm come through this morning, but this this deer I shot is a gut shot deer. When I used to have tracking dogs, they could they could really work that, that gut smell good. Look at she's she going, she's on, I bet she's on it right now. That's right where he ran in, right there, Jeffrey. You see Brad's deer laid out there, deal. Joe found Brad's deer. He doesn't know it yet. Brad! I guess that buck fever jumped on me. Hey, it happened. <laughs> hey, we got him. We got him. Congratulations. Congratulations, Good girl, Joe. Well, not, not, not some of our prettiest work, but we got it done. Mm -hmm. And I heard, I could hear that, I could hear that, when y'all called my name, I could hear that intensity like that. They, yeah, yeah. they got him. Yeah. <laughs> Let's drag him up here out of the water. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we got it figured out, Lakey boy. That's, that's, mm -hmm. Never a bad sight when you got too much bucks in the back of a ranger. Well, we'll go tend to these two, <laughs> and it'll be time for some back straps on that new grill y'all put together. You bought some dogs, did I did. I mean, <laughs> okay. Uh oh.